And we are back after a much needed hiatus. Oh yes, because after the last episode, I'm pretty sure we were ready to kill each we other. We did like what, five episodes that day? Five episodes and one became and two became one. So four, but still that was quite a bit of uh, shenanigans. Yes, yeah, so welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. I guess that's why they call it the Chaos Ember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to murder you after this. <laughs> Hey, don't bother. Let's just come back to the last bonfire you sat at. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, okay, so our plan is to head to New Londo and face the Four Kings. Okay. And yeah, it's going to be a fun trip because the Four Kings is widely considered one of the more dickish bosses in the game. To be honest, I don't find them dickish. I find the stage that they are at to be more of a problem. Oh, yes. Remember New Londo, where we were at? Yes, well, we're finally going to explore the other part of it. By the way, you are going to need transient curses, so... Well, you do find two in that corpse that mm -hmm. you find going in, but you want to be sure not to, A, use them up accidentally, because then you're going to have to go to uh, the old lady who... Sells them. Who sells them in the sewers. Re reference the second episode in case you're, free, in case you're wondering. I'm pretty sure that was the first episode. The first or second episode to see where the transient curses are. Because if I recall, the first episode... Oh yeah, we get to do something else while we're here. Oh, right. You remember the uh, crestfallen soldier that was up there who you, was the first guy you met? Yeah, uh, yeah he's gone. And where did he go? He's right there. And he's gone hollow, and he's after your souls. You took out half his health in one swing. Oh, oh he's good at parrying! Yeah, he is. <laughs> I did not know he could do that. Yeah, he can. He's very good at doing that. As a matter of fact, he can do it repeatedly. Oh. Over and over again. Fuck. And you're done. dead. Bullshit! <laughs> Well, it goes to show you that I'm a little rusty after Sog and Ornstein. <laughs> Legend? <laughs> well, so, so, I someone's been, uh, pra someone has been practicing their sword skills. No, I've been busy playing as a mage in this game lately. Ah, you want you went the first route with melee, now you're going the, the ranged route. Yes. So how is the squishy mage treating you? Well, I beat Smog and Ornstein, again. Very nice. Took me three tries that time instead of the one. Okay, not bad, not bad. But, how has it been treating you overall? Not bad. Tried to go into New Londo here and uh, got my ass kicked. And go find out why. Yeah, New Londo is a. But I really. Oh. Yeah, you can do that as a shortcut. Yeah. I'm you... going to be using a lot of shortcuts, uh, for the record. Yeah, you are a bit more familiar with this area than I am. I've only gone here once. You've probably been here, like, what, two or three times? 30. 30? 30. 30. The fact that you keep track. Yes. And the fact that you know how many times you play Dark Souls. Oh, how many times I've played Dark Souls? That's another story. No, how many runs you've done. Yeah. Okay, um, here's my first little trick right now. If you know that you're going to be dying a lot in this area, my best suggestion, wait for this thing to go all the way down, make sure you're on the other side of the switch, and... Ah, so it brings Trigger the elevator so that it goes up past you. Ah. If you die, then that elevator will simply be at the top and you won't have to waste a lot of time waiting for it when you get back from the bonfire. I don't even think we were a few minutes in before I died. That's a good sign for this area. Well, I'm to not be fair, he only appears after you ring both bells of awakening. Right. I think a little bit after both bells of awakening. I, no, I believe it's right at, No, it's right after you defeat uh, Smaug and Ornstein. Oh, he, okay. So he does this. Ah, you're adding a humanity because... Oh yeah, it boosts your item drop rate. More than that, it boosts the power of my weapon. I am the Chaos Partisan after all. And... <laughs> well, the shield did that, so... What if you can knock him off the cliff? You could, but then you lose some of the drop. Okay, let's see... That's I his parry stance, I just realized. No, that's just his block stance, parry. Not bad. Alright. Uh, how high does the uh, damage uh, scale with the Chaos Partisan? And to go ahead and put it roughly, it, at max humanity investment and max uh, reinforcing, 
it does about 1.5 times more fire damage than a fire, a fully upgraded fire weapon. There he goes. And he's dead. Did he drop anything? No, he normally doesn't. No. He drops about 1,000 souls and then that's it. And it was the first guy you met that was leg legitimately sane, so... Well, besides the guy that rescued you from the Ed Asylum, so... He was on his way out. He was also insane. insane. Yeah, he, well, yeah, he did go insane after you decided to kill him. Alright, but yeah, he, he wasn't in the spawn, those souls. So. Okay, so... First note, I'm going to go ahead and point this out. We have the gold, the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring on. And that boosts item drop rate. Mm -hmm. The there. enemies in this area will actually drop those transient curses, but it helps if you stack it in your favor and make sure that the ghosts are more likely Did you to just drop eat it. The transient curse. Yes. Something in sort. Yes. Wow, they're pretty weak. Or we're pretty damn strong. Now the thing to notice that without the transient curse, you can't actually hit them. Yeah. Yes. Even with magic. There's only one weapon that can bypass this, but it's a pretty rare weapon. When, what is it again? The Cursed Sword of Artorius. Ah. And we can do that with uh, the uh, Soul of Sith. We could! But the requirements to wield it are ridiculously dumb. Not quite. The Cursed Sword is actually the easier version to use. Yeah, but it requires, like, what? Intelligence? No, Intelligence it... and faith. Neither. No? No, oh, it's purely physical stats. Oh, right. That's, that's why I say it's easier. Okay. Uh, this do is the beginner's not... trap. Yeah. The, you see that? The jerks. <sighs> you don't know how many times I've been killed by that thing. You're talking like Zangit now? Shit, no. He wants to catch walnuts between the thighs. Get me out of the way. Get me out of the way. Okay. Uh, how long does the transient curse last about? Uh, I'd say about five minutes or so. That's not that bad. Yeah, it's not bad. The problem is it can Double run kill. out. And the thing is, those ghosts have an insanely wrong, long range. Only, only uh, the male ones do. The female ones are stabby stabby. They're ghosts. They don't have... Yeah, there's there's actually yeah they actually do. There's one go. There's a one. Uh, there's two types of ghosts. Those ghosts, and then there's one with a baby. Well, the screamers. The screamers are the female ones. Yes. Well, you want to think that? I like to think no, that all no, ghosts are that's kind a, of. The, 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 it's definitely what the wiki says, dude. Oh yeah, this next area is gonna be fun. There's oh. a goat. You see that he's kind of sticking out of the wall right there. There's a ghost. Actually, no, he's in the distance. But again, no, he's in the wall. Oh, so he is. That almost killed him. You told me that was his parry stance. He doesn't need a parrying dagger in order to parry. The Chotel has a natural parry. This is one of the screamers. They use magic. They also drop a very rare weapon. And they also have... And it's still not dead. Yeah, it's got a bit higher health, too. And two more transient curses. In case you were running out by this point. But... Yeah. It's not that bad. We're actually also, an easier way to figure out if your transient curse is gone is to see whether or not the transient curse item can be used again. Yes. Yeah, if it's if it's shining bright, then it's got then it's gone. And you can... All right. Okay, so this part is fun. Look at that. Yeah, that's dickish. Yeah, those guys are a pain in the ass. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to use their insanely long range to go ahead and stab you through the floor. So what you do is you kick the ladder here, so you have a fast access way back up. Well, this ladder will serve as a little bit of a shortcut. As you can see, there's the bridge where you got in to go to the fighting trap. So you can actually jump down to that little ledge right here from right over there and climb your way back up. There's only one problem I have with this. It leads to this. No. It leads to worse lag than in Blight Town. Seriously? Yes. I actually... That little skip cost me so many frames, it wasn't even funny. 
Seriously. Oh, yeah. Huh. I... Also, you can fly down. And we're yeah. about to see it now. Alright. In case you thought that the that one ghost was bad... There's a whole bunch the down rest. here, and they try to attack you from underneath. Yep. You can Indiana Jones your way past these guys, but it's better just to kill them. Huh. We're actually doing pretty well. Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of practice with this area. A lot, a lot of practice. <laughs> Oh, you have no idea. All right, so up the stairs we go into more pain. All right. Um, yeah, this area can be a bit of a pain, but it's, it's understatement manageable. of the year. Yeah. Well, it's not as bad as Blight Town because we're still standing. In some oh. cases, arguably, it can be worse because the enemies in Blight Town you could at least attack, push off cliffs, and were affected by their surroundings. Also, uh, bottomless pits of water. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. In this area, you have... Shit, no. You saw that. You saw that. Yep. Watch, here they come. Is that a falling... I can fly. Oh, you see that too? I ran out of curse. Oh, no, you don't, you crazy little idiots. Uh, Estes? Legends in our Irishman is coming out. <laughs> I'm not even Irish. I'm well, the... it's close enough to St. Patrick's Day. I'm the Irish one among us. You know, by the time we upload this, uh, St. I... Patrick's Day is probably going to be gone by this point. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, by absolutely, the... laddie. Actually, if we manage to finish this within a certain amount of time, I might start uploading five days a week. What? Eight days a week. I hate these fuckers. <laughs> Eight days a week. It's not enough how bullshit they are. They just want to kick your ass. That <laughs> we know is true. Uh, do we always? Oh, have... come on, come on, Zero. You gotta keep up the beat. I don't re know the full lyrics to that song. We're making them up as we go. I'm sorry. I think he lost. I think he doesn't know. Oh, the look, rhythm. a screamer. Oh, look. More bullshit. Also, was she... Did you, I think in her screen... Did you she, miss her, or was she invulnerable during that period? I think so, yeah. Oh, shit! Talking mushrooms. Why am I... Why am I censoring myself? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, oh, shit. no, no, oh, no, shit. no, 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 you don't. They can ask this, you fool. We can't be seen. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. See, this is why I hate the ghosts. They are a pain in the ass. They can gang you. They can gang up on you. You also get oh! this grab! Get off! Execution. Get off! Get... Oh! I stab, I stab, and I stab some more. <laughs> Thank God for the shield poke! <laughs> this is why spears are awesome. And thank you for picking the mic. I peek the mic because they peak my anger. I think there's also a ghost in here, which is really dickish. Uh, Although we threw all their aggro, so yeah. we're safe now. Another note, you'll be safe for the most part here. With this guy? Yes. Uh, technically there was supposed to be like a boss here originally, right? Yeah, there was originally, but they went ahead and scrapped it. And instead we get this guy. This is a surprise. I get visitors. Save for ghosts. You, you have horrible company. The Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You see no, you don't. the kings who I... Well, you know that much. Wait, you guard over them? To the seal. The fort? Thank you. In the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh? And do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But this is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. 
What he's referring to is getting the crest of Artorius. Nope. The, the crest of Artorius, Artorius will open the door. The, the, uh, the covenant of Artorius, which you get from defeating Sif, is what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I mean. As another note, you can actually brave New Londo and get to this guy, but he will not give you the key to the seal when you talk to him. You need to have the Lord Vessel. Alternatively, you, you can, can do the brute force way. Yes, you can murder him, he will drop the key, and you can force your way into the abyss. Let's do that now. No! no. Because this guy has one other application. What is it? The key to the... He can cure curses. So, yeah. You got er, you got destroyed by a basilisk? This guy can help you out. He also sells transient curses, Which... as well as the resist curse sorcery. Huh. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Sorcery of the Red Robed Remet... Remedition... Remedition. Word. Guardian of the Seal in Yulongdo. Sacrifice humanity to undo curse. This is completely untrue. Uh, no humanity is burned up when you use this... Thing. Because of the fact that when you're cursed, you actually don't have any access to humanity at all. Yeah. yeah. Unless does it burn a solid humanity in your inventory. No, it doesn't. Ah. No, it's a completely uh, cost-free spell. The only thing it does is it takes up a, a, a tombman slot. Yeah. So, good if you're a mage and have problems dealing with curses? But the thing is, this cur this cur this spell, I believe, it doesn't actually cure the curse. It, it just makes it harder it for you. It the resistance, right. Yeah. yeah so, so you still have to come running back to Inward or get a purging stone if you still fall to a curse. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. And I guess we shall go ahead and head back down. Or head back up. Uh, say what? Well, there's... Oh, no. I'm not going back down there without some insurance. Yeah. Well, I, you were standing on pretty much thin air there. Yeah. <laughs> and we never said Dark Souls was perfect, but you know what? When it gets right, it gets really damn right. If I recall, there was another path we could have taken. Yeah, this way. Ah. Da, 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 da. There's a ghost through that wall. Shit. Make it. Seriously, these guys are assholes. Tell me something I do not know. <laughs> I'm still amazed you survived that room. It's death. Oh, there you go. And picked up two more transient curses and mm -hmm. move along. Mm -hmm. um, as a note, the ghosts will drop a usable weapon. One of two. Depending on what kind of ghost you kill. The Screamers drop a uh, curved sword, if I'm not mistaken, and the uh, regular ghosts drop a dagger. Where is he? There he is. Ignore him. Or will he follow us? Yes. Until you get to the Abyss, they will follow your ass everywhere. So Really? Their that range is that far? Yeah. There are a lot of souls down here. Mm -hmm. Though there are a few exceptions. For instance, if you speed run all the way through and get to the abyss real quick. Uh, let's see. Is it up or down? You have to go up before you can go down. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of item grabbing here and there, wherever I can go. Okay. We, we would not be surprised if this was a, if this was a trap. It, it is it. always a trap. Speaking of. Village it, and then let's see. Where are the ghosts? Yes, we did. No, no, we did. No, they did. No, no, we're gonna have to go through that part. Yeah, oh, we. Oh shit! Spooky. There are also spooky, scary skeletons here. Yes, yeah, they're not that bad. Let's spooky, see. Where is the best way? Stealing your soul. Spooky, scary skeletons like the bird you met. Uh, by the way, I noticed something. What? You guys have been freaking out a lot over fall damage, when in this game it's actually more forgiving. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Now, I think I'm more uh, accustomed to Dark Souls 2 fall damage. Which... Exactly. So, you guys are a lot more adverse to taking the fall damage risk. Yeah. Alright, so... um, the way forward is actually down that little path right there. So, what I'm doing right here is completely optional, but it is good to note. Yep. 
The com composite bow. Which, eh, not bad. If you're if you're doing like an archer build in this it, game. It is actually a very good weapon, though. I'm not sure whether or not it does well with scaling or not. Hmm. Um, it has okay look scaling. It. The problem is it has the worst range of any bow. Ah. Which makes it very good for uh, PvP, if uh, I'm not mistaken. You're going down, you're in the shields. Yeah. I'm lost in my own inventory space. There we go. Okay, the composite bow. Uh, okay. yeah, it's got C scaling. Yeah, it emphasizes power and requires more strength than standard bows. However, its range is shorter, making it unfit for sniping. Uh, so, you know, I've never done a ranger build, like, a, like an archer build in this game. I wonder how viable that would be. Very, as long as you have something to deal with plus range mm -hmm. options. Okay, as a note, the switch will not bring up that elevator because the elevator's underwater. Ah. So what you need to do is go through the door. Yes. And we're going to, to go ahead and break the seal. Mm -hmm. yep. And cutscene time in three, two... We're draining the water park. Blue Blonde Water Park is now currently closed for renovations. Please watch your step and do not get killed by the outpouring uh, waters. I'm calling bullshit on that. You know what's up beyond that door, right? Yes. Yeah. You know what's beyond that door! Yes. Yes. It is bullshit that nothing happened to those things outside that door. Yeah! Well, in all fairness, they could have flied away and, you, and then come back. Yeah. They're like, in the they exact didn't... same spots! They did not give two fucks. As a matter of fact, that one probably... You know, I think the door actually glitched through that little... Yeah, so those are, uh, drakes, correct? Yeah. Drakes, not dragons. There is a very significant difference that the, that the Souls series likes to make. Yeah, those are drakes. Those are impure dragons. Impure dragons or not, they breathe lightning, they're a pain in the ass. So ignore them. I am, yeah, I'm going to completely ignore them. And as we get out, we see a whole bunch of corpses. Drowned, dead slimy corpses and skulls. Mm -hmm. but Seriously, not this alone. place is fucked up. Oh yeah, and it gets worse. It's not uninhabited. It, the Spooky Dark Knights. Spooky scary skeletons are right back to step you. Spooky scary skeletons just want to be your friend. These guys have what is known as the Dark Hand. They also have a crap ton of uh, attack power. Crap, ta crap ton of uh, voice. And One, as a word of advice... Two. That is the dark hand. And this is a backstab. <laughs> yeah, actually getting, connect, getting hit by that dark hand move not only deals tons of damage, but also takes away some liquid humanity if you have any, any of it on you. Yeah, so, Which makes it a bigger pain in the ass for you if you, like me, are using a chaos weapon. Mm-hmm. So, you're actually doing pretty well here. Mm -hmm. They have a fairly predictable attack pattern, uh, for me at least, but getting hit by it will knock you down. You also need to be aware of where exactly all of them are. For instance, there's one in this ho upcoming hallway. No, he's actually not there. He's actually in waiting for you to pick up that little item there. So, there he is. And that's what he gets for not paying attention. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that. He's not expecting someone to know exactly what's going to happen next. As you can see, he's got a... that dark shield. The dark head does act as a shield, but it's different from the way the, the NPCs use it. It's a shield if you use it in the offhand, and you get the grab attack if you use it in the weapon hand. Yeah, and we'll show you what it's like after we get it. Mm -hmm. Because we are getting it. Proud Knight, we're getting a lot of souls here, and in here is, I think, it's not a boss, but there's like a really nasty monster. Yeah, We start is. getting them. The, I, I don't know what they're exactly called. We, yeah, we. So what we want to do is try to aggro the uh, Dark Knight to come to us. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, just so we don't have to deal with them and the giant slime thing at the same time. Oh shit! The well, other guy aggro? got. He brought a friend. It is possible to parry them, but unfortunately, my timing for these guys is not as effective. Honestly, I am not very comfortable with fighting two of them at once. You're cornered. Thank you. Oh. Hmm. They're just going to keep following you, man. Yeah. He's just trying to get a better better uh, positioning, and you're cornered there, too. 
That's gonna hurt. Well, there goes my humanity. Not like we can tell. What the fuck? Where the, exactly? The camera, the camera is clipping out because and it's so close. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, my turn again. Uh, yeah. Thankfully, uh, you'll be hitting them with a lot more DPS. Wait, <laughs> why isn't Leo playing? Because Leo decided this is the time that Leo gave up video games for Lent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you idiot. <laughs> Not my uh, fault. We've had a little talk about that. I know, I know. I'll cut back on saying that. No, we're also cut back on? You also cut back on soda, and you've been suffering from a real sugar low. Yeah, not as much as I think I am. Okay, so I'm gonna but go But you know ahead. what else what sucks? Uh, actually, I have to wait for the next episode! Oh yeah, so in the next episode... We'll, we'll be, be trying this again, and hopefully not getting our butts raped. Later, guys.